Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I'm super excited to announce the release of my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. If you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level in 2021, head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD. All right, all you positive heads, welcome. Welcome one and all. I'm very grateful that you have joined me today on this beautiful, wonderful, sacred, magical day. All of those things. Every day, all of those things. Remind yourself of that. So today is a Thursday as I record. And I mentioned last week that I thought it would be fun on Thursdays to let the crystals do the show and and talk about what the crystal energy is unique in and, and what its properties are. And so today, the Lemurian Quartz was speaking to me. And so... This was one of my first crystals that I was drawn to as well, and I wasn't looking for it. I just happened to be in the shop, and I was looking at this one, and I was like, what's this? I was very drawn to it. And it's a very powerful crystal. It's it's very activating. It's very opening. And when I just sat with this crystal before we started, I noticed a couple things. One, and I have to remember what those things are. One, I'll remember the the last thing that came to me, is that this crystal reminds me that all crystals are connected. That all of the information that the crystals have is collected within them and shared. And there's certain ones that really hold the energy of all of that knowledge. And the Lemurian quartz is one of those. And when you look at it, it's a clear quartz crystal, but it has these striations on it. And those are supposed to be like the codes, the information that is written into the crystal. And there have been so many times in my meditations and in my journeys, let's call them, that I see this happening, that the different places that I may go, the different grid points on the earth where there are many crystals, I feel the connection to the other places that I have been. And I also feel the communication within the crystals talking to one another. It's very interesting. I've also done sessions with people back before, you know, some of the earlier cataclysms. There's been a couple, maybe more. But some of the ancients at that time went to different grid points on the earth and planted crystals there to hold the energy and to keep the information alive. And the other thing that came to me while I was sitting with this is that the visions that were coming were coming so swift and so quickly, like many of them all at once. My mind would go in a direction and then I was shown picture after picture. And when my mind sees pictures, by the way, I'm not seeing these clear photos. I'm not seeing like a movie in my head. It's very vague. It's very, very fuzzy. But I get it because it comes through with a knowing of the concept of the picture at the same time. So it's hard to explain. But the visions came through very, very strong. And this crystal helps to promote that, I think, because that's how I feel when I sit with it. So we are going to look in the Crystal Bible and see what the Crystal Bible has to say about Lemurian Quartz. And the Crystal Bible is not actually called the Crystal Bible. I just call it that. It's a book called Love is in the Earth, a Kaleidoscope of Crystals. 
It's the updated version, and the author is Melody. So let's hear what it has to say about Lemurian courts. So funny thing, there's a million kinds of courts in this book, but she doesn't specifically mention the Lemurian courts. I think she calls it something different. So that's what I'm going to read. But first, I want to go over just plain, clear courts, because this is a very, very powerful crystal. It has piezoelectric and pyoelectric properties, and we use these crystals in so many ways in our technology, and so I find that very interesting. Quartz crystals can be used to amplify both body energy and thoughts. They can assist in the creation of power and can provide for the clarity in thinking to enable thoughts to more effectively influence matter. Quartz is said to bring the energy of the stars into the soul. Traditionally, The natural quartz crystal was said to both harmonize and align human energies, thoughts, consciousness, emotions, with the energies of the universe, and to make these greater energies available to humanity. The natural tendency of quartz is for harmony, and it is recognized as a stone of power. The crystal quartz, the quartz crystal, is the connection between the physical dimension and the dimensions of the mind. It can be used to communicate with minerals, plants, animals, and intelligent forces outside of the physical dimension. In early times, when all things were thought to be conscious parts of a greater living consciousness, the quartz crystal was believed to synchronize the individual and total consciousness with that of the heavens and the advanced life forms. The quartz crystal can be used to facilitate both speaking with and receiving information from the spiritual and otherworldly masters, teachers, and healers. It can also be used to transform thoughts into sound, producing the vibration associated with the thought and affecting the environment with the discharged energy. The quartz crystal can create altered states of consciousness and can serve as a vehicle for both reaching and utilizing the talents and abilities of the mind. All the psychic abilities can be stimulated and amplified by the use of this mineral. I felt that. (laughs) It further assists one in retaining calmness and clarity in all situations, decreasing the amount of negative affectation which could inhibit emotional stability. It provides for enhanced energy and promotes perseverance and patience, as well as for restful sleep. Quartz crystals were used in Atlantis and Lemuria for rejuvenation and in the development of a complete civilization of incredible power and splendor. The misuse of crystals is said to have induced the destruction of these civilizations. This is a lesson from which to learn, not to experience. If one uses the energy of the quartz crystal or any other mineral for purposes other than for the good of all, the experience of destructive forces within one's life will be invited. We mentioned that a bit last week, or maybe it was the week before, in general talking about crystals and how powerful they are. And the one thing about a clear quartz crystal, in my opinion, or from what I know, that makes a clear crystal so incredibly powerful is that it has all of the light in it, all of the different variations of light. You uh, you can stream light through a quartz crystal and get a complete rainbow. And so it has all of the energies, and that's what makes it so powerful. Before we continue on with today's episode, I'd like to take a moment to tell you a little bit about my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. The concept for the book initially came to me in a dream and has been followed by a next level amount of synchronicity, confirming for me that the information in the book is pertinent to get to the world at this moment in our collective evolution. In the book, I share the eight keys to manifesting abundance that I've personally discovered over 25 years of trial, error, and deep exploration, including one golden key that ultimately ties them all together. I think most of you will agree with me that talk is a bit cheap, especially these days, and results speak the loudest of all. Well, these keys have led me to manifesting incredible results, such as an Inc. fastest growing private company, uncanny health, incredible relationships, and success with this podcast. However, I'm not any more special than you, and anyone can apply this information to achieve incredible results in their own life. 
I also believe waking up our planet by sharing these keys to abundance is the quickest way to help us to transition our home into the planet of paradise it is destined to become, which is why I'd like to gift the book to you at goldenkey.gift when you use the golden key code positive head. I would also like to invite you to create your own unique golden key code so you in turn can gift the book to others, as well as invite you to participate in a unique abundance manifestation game with me and the other readers that is outlined in detail at the end of the book and on the website, uh, where readers are also going to share the inspiring results of their abundance manifestation experiments. Lastly, I'm going to practice what I preach by sharing 50% of the abundance generated from the golden game and sale of the other golden goodies on the website with you and all the other readers. So if you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level, head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code positive head. Also, if you end up loving and appreciating your gifted copy of the book, please take a moment to go to Amazon and give it a review, which will greatly help me reach and unlock more hearts with the golden key. So it's super important that we are very in line in our intentions when we're working with crystals, because as it said, The destruction of Atlantis came from the misuse of crystals. And that has been information that has come across in so many different forms. The misuse of the crystal. And we're not going to do that again. Because we know better now. And we have respect. And we, most of us, most of us here, are working towards service to all. Service to the whole. And this crystal is such a a powerful one to help get us in line with that, really help us in our meditations. It can even help us in healing different aspects of ourselves, helping us getting more in tune with ourselves. Because when we have a more powerful meditation, maybe we get our answers more, or we feel them more, we understand them, we believe them more when it's more powerful. And so this is a crystal that I feel like should be in everyone's toolbox and also to use it with reverence and respect. And so back to the book, there is like 20 pages on all the different types of crystals. And I think that the Lemurian she's calling here is the etched quartz crystal. And it might be another one too, which I'll read as well. But the etched quartz crystal can be recognized by the existence of abrasions located upon the outer areas of the crystal. The abrasions appear to be a type of hieroglyphics. This information has been used to facilitate contact and transfer of information from the ancient Egyptian civilizations and from Lemuria and Atlantis. This transliteration of the symbols bring information relevant to one's life at the time of translation. They were once used in healing temples of these ancient civilizations, and the markings also contain information of experiences in which they have participated. They also have contained information with respect to the healing methodology, which has been proven successful over eons of time and throughout the universe. They have been accessed during the meditative state and have provided information concerning techniques utilized in the ancient civilizations of the earth and other locations of the universe. The etched quartz crystal is usually a personal meditation crystal. Meditation with the crystal is easily accomplished by placing the hieroglyphics upon the third eye. Subsequent to this placement, close the eye, still, and open the mind. Initiate circular breathing, relax, and be prepared to receive the information. You know, this one, some of the other ones I'm propelled to put on my third eye, this one I was not. I feel like it's strong enough to just hold it in my hand. So... Play with it as you will, but do what feels right for you because I am certainly one who does not believe in overactivating oneself. This is a very powerful crystal. And so if you don't want to blow open your third eye, maybe don't put it there. For me, I don't like to blow it open. I kind of like my mind being more, um, you know, able to recognize this reality and know when I'm looking at another, you know, Schizophrenia is when there is no veil. 
So that's really what schizophrenia is, is that the ability to see everything, all the dimensions, all at once. And for me, I'm kind of happy that I have my veil, you know, it kind of keeps me sane. And, and I often have clients that just want to open their third eye and, and be able to see it all. And I know that maybe some of you listening feel this way, which is why I'm talking about it. But this is something that has to be done so super gradually. So it's just like sending too much energy through a wire. You don't want to fray that wire. You don't want to blow the circuit. You don't want to blow up in your third eye and all of a sudden you feel schizophrenic. Not what we're trying to do here. Nice and slow. Take it easy. This is very, very powerful medicine. So that's my good good crystal advice for today. And the last thing it says here, if one is meant to experience an etched quartz crystal, the universe will provide. The etched quartz crystal, which is made available to one, contains the information which will be beneficial to one's personal development and or will provide information which will assist one in helping another. That is so beautiful. All of the information is always within us. I say this all the time. We talk about this all the time. But using a crystal like this can help you to really solidify that knowing within yourself. Because when the messages come stronger, it's easier to believe in it. And especially when that feeling comes along with it, because you can never deny the feeling. You can't make up a feeling. If you feel something really strongly within, like oftentimes when we're meditating, we can get hit with that like bliss hit or even that that kundalini awareness. That's pretty intense. That you cannot make up if you tried. Or even the vibrational feelings, the heat sensations, whatever it is, not something that you can imagine. And so these are the things that help us to solidify in our beliefs that we are just energy beings. We do have all the answers and we have the ability to heal ourselves. That's such a beautiful thing when we know that and recognize that within ourselves. Okay, and so the last thing I'll read is the Record Keeper Quartz Crystal. The Record Keeper Quartz Crystal is recognized by raised or several raised perfect triangles located on one or more of the crystal faces. It should be noted that the quartz crystal is not the only crystal which is a record keeper. For example, there are a few rare ruby crystals from the Republic of South Africa and from the ruby crystal mine in India, which also exhibit this property. The record keeper is a crystal within which wisdom is stored. When one properly attunes to this crystal, the ancient knowledge and profound secrets of the universe can be psychically retrieved. These crystals have been consciously and purposely programmed by the beings who created the energies which have culminated in the actualization of life on this plane, and by their direct descendants, the Atlanteans and Lemurians. The purposes of accessing information from the record keeper are to provide one with information concerning the origin of the human race, the human soul, and all that exists or has existed in one's reality. To facilitate the actualization of each person as a healing agent for humanity and the environment. And to allow one to incorporate higher knowledge, wisdom, peace, and love into this and other planets. Only those with open minds and pure hearts can access the information via attunement of the consciousness with the inner energies of the crystal. The information provided by the record keeper enhances one's light, provides for a deeper access to personal wisdom, and promotes a greater peace to be used in this world. The three of the triangle located upon the face of the crystal represents perfect balance achieved when the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of one's being is aligned with the love and purity of the highest spirituality. The triangular shape of the doors, which leads to the records, also symbolize the third eye, the creation, and the preservation of the state of perfection, which serves as a pathway toward the enlightened state. The information stored within the record keeper could be relevant or non-relevant to physical life on earth. One must be open and willing to accept all information, even those concepts which one would judge as inconceivable, and must be capable, as we all are, of processing the information 
and applying it to this physical life. If one is meant to experience a record keeper, the universe will provide. The record keeper, which comes to you, contains the information which will be beneficial to your personal development and or will provide information which will assist you in helping another. I love that so much because this one did come to me. I wasn't looking for it. I just, I saw it there and was like, yeah, hello, you, you want to come with me, don't you? And so interesting things to think about today, all of the different crystals and the information they provide and how we can access them and how they communicate with one another and how the ancients stored knowledge in them and how they use them. So many things to explore and learn about in this way. And so I encourage you to work with crystals. Get one of these, maybe a clear quartz, a Lemurian quartz, whatever quartz jumps out to you, whatever calls you, whatever is your crystal that is just perfect for you to help yourself and to help others. Using that with the purest heart and grateful intention, that's the best way to go. They're so, so powerful, these beings. And when we work with them, you'd be surprised, really surprised what we can do. I love you all so, so much. I'm going to leave you with a song for today. I'm really feeling Mom Muse this week. So today is Glorious by Mom Muse. Until next time, I love you all. Nothing better than a friend. Oh, what a day! Oh, what a day! Glorious. Smell of rain has it to ride upon the wind. I've got good friends to the left of me, and good friends to my right. Got the old sky above me and the earth beneath my feet got a song inside my heart that's singing all in like a sea oh what a day oh what a day oh, what a day glorious all the clouds have gathered round the top That's green, lifts up its leaves, singing water, come on in. We've been waiting all these days, praying you would come to quench. Every yearning in our bones, water with oh, your life begins. Oh, oh, what a day. Fruit has fallen to the ground 
Bitter breath sings my heart at the thought of what's to come. What a day! Never fear, the birds are singing. Even endings can be sung. 